hello guys, this is the Church of Gaming here, and today I'm gonna be continuing on the uh, Prison Architect series. So let's jump right into this. Um, so it already looks like we have two people in solitaire. Uh, I have no idea why. Uh, we have Dan Davies, age 24, and Ed Winner. I swear, Ed Winner has been in here before, and I have no idea. But it says right here. Once he gets out of solitary, he also has 60 minutes of lockdown, so he's been extra bad. <laughs> anyway, so let's just get on with this. Um, so it looks like our power generator up here isn't doing too well, and it looks like we don't have a lot of cash either. Um, I can't quite remember what we were doing last time. It's been quite a while, guys, I'll be quite honest. It's been just over a week, but I'm pretty sure we're trying to get our admin wing down. And while doing the admin wing, I can see that <laughs> I may have made some mistakes. So I'm just going to go back here and maybe I'll fix that, hopefully. And then we'll get some more walls in here. Hopefully we can get these offices up and running. Up here, I think I wanted the infirmary and a psychiatrist. So we'll get into that. Um, so as of right now, um, we don't really have... Um, too many issues, I don't think. Uh, we just have to unlock uh, more stuff through a um, through getting this admin wing open. So, anyways, uh, so let's jump into this. So, I'm just gonna speed this up a little. Uh, I think we should probably go for something that's gonna earn us money. Uh, so, I'm gonna look into the grants. Hopefully, there's something here that we can take. Oh no, we can't see. We've already accepted two, so we've done inmate health and well-being and administration. So I think we're just about done administration. No, we have to hire a warden and unlock finance or bureaucracy. So I think we'll be able to do this because we get five grand if we do. Um, and hopefully with the money we have now we're able to. This prison's making quite the income, so hopefully it will pay off. Uh, so, yeah, let's jump into this. So, we're gonna make these two bits here offices, like I promised before. Uh, so, let's make these offices. I think we're gonna have an accountant in the warden's office. And, of course, the office needs an office desk, a chair, and filing cabinet. So, we'll jump into objects. We need an office desk. Uh, we'll just, uh, stick the desk right here, I guess. We'll get a chair as well. We'll get a nice chair in there. Uh... And I think it also needs filing cabinet, so filing. And we'll stick some, we'll stick a, uh, two filing cabinets here, I guess. Because there's going to be lots of files uh, for the warden, obviously. And then, to make, to help the warden, you know, relieve stress, we'll also give him a nice radio. I think, so we'll, right in here, if he wants to listen to some, to some tunes, he can. He's got that option, so we'll just stick the radio in here. And I should do it. So, uh, we'll get this office fixed. I'm just going to speed up time a little. Uh, shower time right now. Hopefully, there is no more tension in the prison, because the last thing I want is a right shower shanking. Okay? I, n <laughs> I don't generally say this, but, like, we haven't had one in a while, and, I mean, I'm not saying that I miss it or anything, but, I don't know. It just doesn't seem... Like my prison without a good shower shanking, if you know what I mean. Anyways, uh, let's just see these guys build it. We got the office in, so hopefully we can afford to hire the warden. Warden's a, uh, a grand. This has been quite the hit, but I think we can afford it. So we'll hire him. And then I think what we have to do for this grant, let me just look back. Uh, administration, we need to get a warden. And we have to hire an accountant, too. So we have to get the bureaucracy. Oh, I can't say that. Uh, and we also have to run utilities up here as well. Like, the warden needs... The warden needs power. So we'll have to run some of the electric cables through here, I think. Uh, we'll do that. Um, oh, what's going on here? What just happened here? Was there a fight? Hold on, hold on. Leishan is causing more problems in my prison, and I have no idea why. Uh, he had to be beaten. 
I believe, by one of the officers, and it's free time right now, and some of the prisoners have decided to take showers, so that, I'm fine with that. Uh, it's never, it's never too bad to take too many showers. That's good. Why is he seriously injured? Okay, well, maybe you shouldn't have, um, look, it says, it says right here what he did. It says, escape attempt? He tried to escape destruction and attack the staff. Oh, he missed, alright, so all these guys, looks like they're missing their families and alcohol and stuff. We'll have to get this sorted out afterwards, okay? Um, right now is not the best time, and actually, because of our financial, um, yeah, thank you. Uh, because of our financial, um, crisis right now, we might have to accept in two more prisoners. Uh, we're really, really pushing this prison to the max. Uh, but I think two more pris- uh, Sorry, two more prisoners will give us an extra grand. And I think that's just what we need. So we got the warden. And I think what we can do is... Where is it? Where, where can I go? I think we go up here. Ah, yes. In bureaucracy. We want to unlock finance. We need to get our accountant. So we'll do that. And it'll take uh, six in-game hours to complete. So hopefully that doesn't take too long. Um, It looks like there's also another fight. Because it looks like... um. John Nightingale was also, um, attacked. Um, so yeah. And he's awaiting solitary, I believe. I don't know why they haven't brought him to solitary yet. But it says here that he's awaiting it. So yeah. Uh, are these all designated solitary cells? Oh, is he bringing him food? What's this? Oh. Brought these guys food. Anyways, I'm just gonna make sure all these rooms here are still solitary cells. So I guess I can go back over the yeah yeah they're all they're all solitary. Um, so it's going good. Uh, it doesn't say when we're gonna get the next two prisoners. That's weird. Uh, your prison is closed to new inmates. See intake report. What do you mean it's closed? Oh, sorry. We have to go number per day. There we go. That's what we want. So we need to bring in two more of these guys. So we got one office. Uh, while we're researching that accountant, we'll also make the accountant an office as well. So we'll get on with that. So we'll get... <laughs> most important thing about the office is the radio. Because it's pretty stressful and it's nice to listen to some tunes. I'm going to get another office desk. Oh shit, I did that the wrong way. Uh, turn around. Going the right way. Uh, we'll get a chair as well. Uh, so our accountant has somewhere to sit. What the hell was that? What is going on down here? What is this? Loving Gro- There has been an escape attempt. And somehow, Love Grove, Matt Lovegrove made it out the airlock. And it looks like there's a fight at the cafeteria as well. What is going on? Leishan has caused more- I swear. That's it. I'm doing it. He's going up to maximum security. He is causing me way too much trouble in this prison. He's the root of all my pain, and he's causing these prisoners to riot. We've already had a sk an escape attempt. We have an unconscious prisoner outside, and I think it's about time, even in this financial crisis, to call the paramedics. And it has to be done. So we'll have to call in the paramedics. And we'll have to send them, uh, Matt Lovegrove's way. H60, my lord. Um, I can't believe he made it through the, uh, airlock and out the reception. I actually can't believe he made it that far, and that is actually quite terrifying. And you know what else is also terrifying? We just found a, a hammer on Alex Headland over here. My god. This is not the pl- Alright, I'm not gonna lie, guys. This is not the place to be at the moment, but hopefully we'll fix this place up. Lovegrove's gonna have to spend some time, definitely, for his escape attempt. And we're gonna have to definitely send in these paramedics into the prison to, um, get things sorted out. Um, so, once they fix these guys, they can come into the calf. The calf is a mess as well. Anyways. Hopefully they can fix up whatever is happening in here. Uh, we can bring the paramedics down into the holding cell. I know we got some issues there as well. I don't know what these uh, prisoners are complaining. Oh, they're overheating. 
Now, I don't know if that's because I have too many radiators, or that just has to do with the fact that... What is this? What is this? What? They have killed one of my guards, and they took the keys. That's it. We have to have a shakedown. And, and, and a lockdown. Because we found two hammers. Oh, God, he's got knives. Ah! He's got a knife. We got a dead officer. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God, they got keys. They got the keys. Okay, stop the shakedown. Stop the shakedown. This is really bad. We're going to have to call in the riot police. We'll have to send in the big boys. Here we go. Hopefully, they can sort this out. Come on. We need the riot police. Send them in. Send them in. We're sending in the big boys. Come on, let's do this. Take him out. Look at this guy over here. He's got Aston uh, Lutheran has a, a shank, I believe. Little does he know that the big boys have come in. And oh my gosh. He took his shirt off. He's nude. He's nude. Oh my, he's got a fork. Wow. Okay. I, th I don't think the prison no longer has to be in lockdown. Because I think we've just... Oh my god. We have lost a guard in that. We have lost a guard. And we have another guard in the cafeteria unconscious as well. Um, I'm really anxious about these, I'm really going to push this prison to the limits by adding two more prisoners. I think that is, I don't think the prison can handle any more than that. This is not a good scenario right now. Oh my lord. And well, that's sending the paramedics to revival, these idiots as well. What is going on? Why? Why is this happening? Anyways, let's get in some filing cabinets. Jeez, we need to get this prison sorted out. This is not going well. Not going to plan at all. We have to get this uh, bureaucracy grant so we can expand the prison. Because we're not doing too well in cash either. But we're making something. And I think... I know it's going to cost us. But I think it's desperately needed. We do need a new guard. So we'll send in, and we'll, we'll bring the paramedics in here as well. And we'll have to bring them in here. I think we have enough solitary cells to do the job as well. So that's good. So they'll heal up this guy in here. There we go. And then we'll send them down here as well. To uh, deal with these guys. Hopefully we have no more incidences. Oh my god, what is going on here? These guys are fearing their own safety. I, If I were in this prison, I don't blame them. I would fear my own safety as well. Because this prison is a hellhole. But hopefully we can get things sorted out and dealt with. Anyways, uh, the new prisoner has come in like 14 hours. And let's see, have we unlocked the... Just about. We've just about unlocked finance. So we might need... We might need the money, because I don't know how much a, a whatchamacallit cost, a sniper. Oh, this is new to the game. I never knew there was sniper. Well, that's probably a pretty high level. This is new, by the way. I, well, maybe to me, because I haven't played this game in so long. I, that that sounds really interesting. I think I'm, I'm going to really dip into snipers. That sounds quite up my alley. And we got the accountant, and I don't think we, yep, a thousand, a thousand big ones, but I think once we get the accountant, we get five grand back, so I think it's worth it, uh, truly, uh, let's see, so we need to hire a warden, we've done that, unlock finance and bureaucracy, then build two offices, done that, all we need to do now is hire the accountant, and our, our job is done, so as long as we can just survive, uh, these prisoners. I'm just gonna speed up time a great. As long as we can just kind of like survive, not have any. In See, this is why this guy escaped the last time. 
They're not allowed in the reception, and I think we'll have to do something about that. I think there's something in logistics where you can say, or tell the prisoners where they are and not allowed to go. So we'll have to set the reception area as a no prisoner zone. Because they keep coming in here, and as you see, we don't have an airlock in the front of the reception uh, to, um, to detain these guys. So escape attempts might be more likely. Other than that, though, uh, we just have to get the money rolling in up here. Uh, it's about bedtime. I think once these prisoners go to sleep, uh, everything should be fine. Uh, hopefully. And I might want more guards manning these metal detectors. Because this prison is not the best place to be right now. <coughs> Anyways. Um, so yeah, the new prisoners come soon. Anyways. Um... And actually, I don't, I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know if we're, it's worth getting the doctor's office or we should expand the jail cell. Actually, I think we should expand the cells because we definitely need to house more guys. Because we need to be making a ton of money. What is going on? What is all this banging? I hear banging and I don't know where it's coming from. Uh Oh, it's him, isn't it? What is all this what is this racket? You. Go down here and tell me what's going on. This is ludicrous. Stop. Ah. Well, stop. What are you doing? Ian, Ian Alexander is causing more issues. Oh my god. No. He's busting down the door. What? How'd he- Stop him! Somebody! Stop him! He's breaking- How'd he break down the jail door? I thought these jail doors were like, impeccable. He broke it with his bare fists. He broke down the solid metal door with his bare fist. How that- mm, I don't even want to know. We have a Hulk on our hands. You know what? That's it. You're being put up to um, maximum security as well. Because I'm not having um, any prisoners who can break down metal doors with their bare hands running around causing mayhem, okay? Uh, this is... At this rate, this prison is becoming a maximum security prison. And actually, we've just hit that uh, one grand, so I think we can bring in the accountant while it is sleep time. So we can get more money. So we got the accountant and we got our grant. Thank goodness we have the five grant. And we can actually accept another grant now. Now that that's done. Now, sorry, now that that's done. So we have cell block A rate and we get 40 grand for uh, raising our prison capacity to 15. Actually, we have a prison capacity of 16. So I think we'll just get 40 grand right off the bat. Oh, would you look at that? We did get 40 grand. Okay, perfect. We have plenty of time to expand. Oh, this could not be better. Forty grand to work with. And actually, while while saying that, uh, we'll have to jump into here. Definitely health, because we definitely need that doctor's office. Big time, and more cell blocks. Obviously, cell blocks, cell blocks, cell blocks. Uh, wow. Ian Alexander is unconscious, but. He deserves it, honestly. Honestly, I, I, I'm sick of call These paramedics are sick of coming in here. Our poor guard is injured. He's knackered. He's in the reception. Oh my gosh. Anyways, uh, we'll have to build a staff room for these guys later. Uh, so, anyways, we'll have to we'll have to make these bigger. So, I think we can hopefully. Uh, expand these out more, these cells. I think the hallways... Hold on. Let's not do that. Let's jump into the hallway view. Let's just randomly make this bigger, and then we'll add... Actually, no, we'll make this a whole, like... Oh, God, no. Whoops. We'll go like this, right? Whoops. And this will be like a whole building, right? Um, so we'll just speed this up. 
And this should, like, greatly increase our, like, prison's capacity. Um, so we got this, like, ton of money to work with now. So we can just make this huge, huge room. And as you can see, our workers are busy working away, working throughout the night to get our new facility online. Uh, so that's good to hear. Hopefully this is completed before the prisoners wake up and realize they can escape. Uh, hopefully that's, this is not the case. And we are actually getting, we're still going along with getting the two extra prisoners. Uh, oh gosh. Uh, a little incident happened here, but that's alright. And I think we can demolish these walls here as well. Anyways, alright, so the prisoners, the new prisoners are going to be coming in soon. Uh, so yeah, and there we go, we got the new sort of area built, and I think we can start running our utilities in here. Uh, let's see. So we can run our electricity in here. And the prisoner is going to be here any second, so we should probably meet and greet with them. Uh, so we should head over here, I guess. And meet up with the new prisoners, actually. Hold on. Let's bring water into here as well. We'll bring the... Before, before we do anything, we'll bring in the water pipes as well. And that should just about deal with the uh, the horrible stuff. So yeah, uh, new prisoner is coming in 13 minutes, so our guards are waiting for them. We are really, really testing the integrity of this prison, and this power generator was also um, having its integrity tested, because once this gets too high, the whole power shifts off in the prison, and that would be disastrous. We do not want that. So, the, the bus is here. We got our new prisoners. We got, let's see. We got Colby, and we got, who's this guy? Scott Hornick. Alright. Welcome to, I haven't named this prison yet. We'll come up with a name later. Hopefully, uh, you guys may be able to give me an idea what to name the prison in the comments below. Because uh, we still haven't named this prison yet, so... There's always that to consider. Anyways, we've got the new prisoners. They're being searched in the reception. They're being stripped down to the birthday suits. So yeah. Uh, these guys are getting this issue sorted out here. And I think it's turning out quite well, actually. Uh, a little mess. We kind of had a, a bit of troubles this episode. Uh, so yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to end the video here, guys. Uh, I'll continue this uh, hopefully soon. Uh, it won't be another week. Hopefully I can upload another video within the next couple of days. So yeah, the prison's going well. We still need to expand. And now we have this huge grant. We now can afford expansion. So we'll build more cells in here afterwards. And hopefully we can cram some more prisoners in. And make a ton of money so we can get the medical ward. And we don't have to keep calling the paramedics. Anyways, guys, there's lots to do. What is this guy doing? There's lots to do. Obviously, we have to get this prison in shape because there are people smuggling forks into the yard. Uh, and we simply cannot have that. So, yeah. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment below. And, yeah, this is the Church of Gaming, signing off.